Howdy guys, Toby here, and today I want to talk about a fundamental and permanent flaw in the War Thunder economy, caused by the repair cost system. So, War Thunder's SL flow is very similar to energy in a food chain. Those who play as like base bombers and ground pounders where they're attacking AI targets, um, they generate SL without harming anyone. So they're basically the plants of the War Thunder economy. Bomber hunters are like the herbivores as they gain SL from taking out the plants. And then fighters are like the predators as they make SL from taking out bomber hunters and other fighters. The problem is that the repair cost system creates an imbalance in the flow of SL. Fighters have always the caused the economy to lose SL due to the fact that you are paid out less SL when compared to the repair cost of what you're shooting now. And that's fine, as long as the uh, SL is able to flow from those plants to herbivores to predators. But recently that has not been possible because of higher and higher repair costs. So bombers used to be able to make good SL offsetting all of this issue. But now that bombers aren't able to make a lot of SL, and sometimes aren't even able to make any SL at all, there's less and less incentive to play them, and less incentive to hold the economy together, creating an imbalance in the flow of SL, which is incredibly detrimental to War Thunder as a game. Now there is a band-aid fix to this in War Thunder uh, that is keeping the game alive, even though most people hate it, and that is the JU-288. A premium bomber that makes a wild amount of SL and a premium plant that fits the analogy. The JU-288 is essentially the corn of the Gaijin economy. Anyone who wants to play the game for free really would not be able to do so without other people playing the 288. What would a more permanent solution or fix to this look like? Well, that is kind of a tough question, because likely a permanent solution to this will never come. Gaijin does not want to fix this, because this is a huge reason why people are buying premiums or buying SL, and fixing this would hurt their pocketbook. But one solution that would work to this, that would um, overall fix most of these issues with the game, would be to make the tech tree bombers and ground pounders more profitable giving people more of an incentive to play them and this would benefit everybody not just the people playing bombers but also the people fighting bombers because this would re-establish that flow of sl benefiting the in-game economy as a whole and giving it a chance of being more stable thank you for watching and i hope you have a good rest of your day peace